गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रजनी भट्ट टीजीटी सोशल साइंस फ्रॉम आर्ट एंड प्रोग्रेसिव स्कूल चिल्ड्रन आई एम योर पॉलिटिकल साइंस टीचर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज डेमोक्रेसी इन द कंटेम्प्रेरी वर्ल्ड स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन वी हैड ऑफलाइन क्लासेस एट दैट टाइम इन क्लासरूम आई एक्सप्लेन्ड यू about the meaning of democracy and then we came to know about the different key features of democracy so students what is democracy democracy is the best form of government where the whole power lies in the hand of common people the common people have the right to choose their representatives who ultimately after getting the victory in election get the chance to form the government to run the country in a very systematic way then we came to know about the different key features of democracy where we understood the term federalism federalism means different levels of government beta we have three levels of government central government state government and local government central government takes care of the whole country state government takes care of the individual states and local government we have to reduce the burden of state government and local government works into two ways how panchayati raj that takes care of villages backward areas and interiors on the contrary we have municipal corporation which takes care of different towns and cities beta then next key feature was secularism secularism means the people of a country where democracy democratic government is there where democracy lies there all the people are supposed to give equal respect to all the religions without any discrimination this is called secularism then we came to know about the separation of power as i told you in the beginning under federalism okay the different people after becoming the part of government work at different levels they have their own limits of power how to use this power with limitation they know very well and the most important thing is beta the people who have interest in politics and who join the politics they should know about the objective for joining the politics and what is that objective to work for the welfare and the goodness of the common people who have given them chance to form the government beta and really it happens properly under democratic form of government only beta when we compare democracy with monarchy and dictatorship then we really feel that democracy is the best form of government because under monarchy kings and queens can be the leader and the whole power can be in their own hand and might be sometimes it happens that they do not focus on the growth of the common people in the same way under dictatorship also beta the whole power comes in the hand of army officials and they also sometimes give preference to the people who belong to their own community okay so when overall we analyze we feel that democracy is the best form of uh, government we can say beta now in our first chapter democracy in the contemporary world here in the beginning we have the two stories one story belongs to the country chai and another story belongs to the country poland so we will start with the story of chai only how the democratic form of government was overthrown by the dictatorship form of government beta okay so let's start with the first story of chai Salvador Allende became the ninth president of Chile in the 1970s election. Beta, what happened in the country Chile in 1970 when election was there? Salvador Allende, he was elected as the ninth president of Chile, beta, and he always worked hard for all the people, especially poor and needy people. and he was a very kind leader of the country chai he was one of the famous presidents of country chai 
he always worked extremely hard for all the sections of the society of child beta he never discriminated anyone on the basis of religion language caste community tradition or culture he always believed that the country child could start moving on the way of progress and development only in that situation when discrimination could be eradicated totally from the country child when all the people should be treated equally with unity and equality beta so he always focused for the development of all the people of the country child and specially he always thought about the goodness and welfare of poor people also what did he do for the poor people now we are going to discuss about that only he always tried to frame favorable policies and schemes for all the people of the country child especially poor people he always tried to frame those policies which could be helpful for the poor people especially for example for example providing free education to their children because poor people did not have sufficient money to send their children to school beta for getting education so as the leader of the country child as the president of the country child he tried to give the facility of education freely to the children of poor people so that they could also get education properly in future they could also get the source of earning properly and finally they could become asset for the country not liability asset means beta useful so that they could become productive people for the country not liability liability means responsibility if people do not work so these kind of people can become a kind of responsibility for the country beta so he always thought that poor people should also get all the facilities just like other people who belonged to other sections of the society like upper class people middle class people then what did he do free milk for the poor children see beta for the proper growth of poor children he uh, started a scheme to distribute free milk for the poor children beta so that they could also get nutrition they could also have a proper growth next was free education for them i already told you beta a redistribution of land for landless poor people really beta in child what happened so many rich merchants and landlords were there who always tried to take the piece of land away from the poor people by cheating them after giving them loan to fulfill their needs because people were uneducated so big merchants big landlords cheated them so easily and when poor people became unable to repay that loan so they took their pieces of land away from there so what did he do selvador elendi as the president of chai he started the process of redistributing the pieces of land to different poor people landless people so that they could also have their own piece of land where they could work they could do the agricultural activities and finally they could earn money by getting good production there so in this way selvador elendi in chai became one of the most famous presidents now what happened after that beta this is also very necessary for us to know when selvador elendi was doing so many good deeds for the people of chai beta many people were there in chai who did not like his work who disagreed with him who always thought to make him out from the power and who were those people the people who belonged to christianity the people who were traders the people who were workers in different industries and factories the people who were industry owners factory owners the people who were very rich in country child the people who had power so they did not like the way as selvador elendi worked in chai for all the sections of the society they always thought that as the president of chai he should he should give preference to these people first but he did not do in this way beta because he was 
an honest president now after that what happened let's see military coup of 1973 what happened beta in chai in 1973 the military official general augusto pinochet he decided that he should make salvador elendi out from the power and he should get the chance to rule in chai so for that what did he do he attacked on the offices where different ministers worked he arrested the defense minister of chai and along with him so many ministers were there who got arrested at that time selvadar elendi he refused to resign from his post and at last for the welfare and goodness of his people beta he decided to give a motivational speech so that the people of chai they could get inspiration to stand against the general augusto pinochet and always they should try to establish to establish democracy properly in country chai beta so he gave a wonderful speech and really that speech worked miraculously okay miraculously miracle was there with the help of that motivational speech beta now after that what happened general augusto pinochet gave order to his soldiers to throw bomb on his house where selvadar elendi was living with his family members and in that attack he died with his family members beta now after that what happened beta pinochet general augusto pinochet ruled after that for 17 years in chai and later on he decided to bring changes in the system to run the country chai after the chance to rule in chai he really thought that now something should be there which could bring drastic change in the system of chai to govern there and regarding this we will discuss in our next sub topic now students our next sub topic is military coup of 1973 in our previous sub topic also we were discussing about all these things beta okay the general augusto pinochet how he uh, got the chance to get the dominance in country chai beta okay how he killed the president of chai with his family members beta after that what happened beta general augusto pinochet became too brutal for his country people brutal means beta he was uh, too cruel for the people of chai he hardly framed rules and regulations for the welfare and goodness of the common people he always gave preference to the people who belonged to different forces okay who belonged to army who belonged to different forces so he tried to give the preference to those people first rather than the common people okay now after that what happened beta whoever tried to stand against him or his people or supporters he punished him by killing them okay so whoever tried to protest him or his supporters or his people beta so pinochet always gave punishment to those people by killing them by torturing them sometimes he sent them to prison also for several years beta so he did not like that anyone could raise his or her voice against his way of ruling that was also the part of his cruelty beta now next was he punished the chilean air force member named general albert bachelet and his family members with full torture beta what happened general augusto pinochet he arrested the air force member the chilean air force member named alberto bachelet and his family members okay he tortured them he sent them in imprisonment also beta then what happened after that 
For 17 years, brutally, he ruled in the country Chai. And once in the year 19, 1988, it comes under the subtopic restoration of democracy. So what happened, Bitta, in 1988? In 1988, Pinochet decided to have a referendum in country Chai. Referendum means, Bitta, the process of election. So in 1988, he decided that something should be there to bring drastic change in the field of politics in country Chai. And what was that step? To bring the concept of election. So in 1988, he decided to have a referendum in country Chai. And at that time, he was totally confident to get victory in that election. General Augusto Pinochet, he had full trust on his people that in that first election, he would get the victory with full majority. But the result was something else. Totally opposite result was their better. The people of country Chai, they did not like his ruling way because he was too brutal. He never thought about the welfare of the common people. So that was a kind of golden opportunity for the people of country Chai to not to give him support better. So no or almost all the people did not cast votes for him better. And after that what happened? The daughter of General Bachelet. I think you have remembered just before few seconds I told you better. Uh, General Augusto Pinochet he arrested the Chilean Air Force member General Alberto Bachelet. So his daughter in 2006, he, sorry, she also participated in election and in 2006, he, sorry, she got the full victory in election and she became the president of country child. Now see beta, how people of country child brought again the change in the ruling way in their own country. Earlier democracy was there, they had president in their country, okay. Ninth president was Salvador Elendi and then again dictatorship was there in country Chai when General Augusto Pinochet took the charge of country Chai in his own hand with his supporters. Then in 2006 again the drastic change was there again people they gave support favor to democracy and the daughter of that Chilean Air Force member General Alberto Bachelet his daughter named Michelle Bachelet. She got the full victory in the elections in 2006 and became the president of Chai Vita. She was professionally a doctor, a socialist who always tried to bring positive changes in the society by removing the errors or the bad customs from the society and she remained the defense minister also of the country Chai. So, in today's session, students, we came to know about the story of country child to understand the significant role of democracy beta. How the president of child, Selvadar Elendi, got the chance to be the president of child in 1970 and after three years, how General Augusto Pinochet brought the dictatorship form of government there uh, by taking the whole power in his own hand with his supporters and all. And then again, in 1988, he introduced the concept of referendum means election. And there he believed that the whole country of Chai would cast vote for him. But the result was means irony. Irony means whatever we expect, something else can be there as a result. So same happened with General Augusto Pinochet. He thought that people would give vote to him, but people did not cast vote for him because he became too brutal and people did not like his way of working better. And in 2006, the daughter of the Chilean Air Force member named Alberto Bachelet, she became the president of country Chai and her name was Michelle Bachelet Bitter. So in this way, we can come to know that how the forms of government can get changed time to time in different countries. 
that's all for today's session students we will meet again in our next session with new subtopics till then take care have a nice day